Good evening everyone, welcome to Allerton Stadium for the first leg of the 2016 Premier League Grand Final as the Sheffield Window Centre Tigers take on the Somerset Rebels. An entire season's worth of effort comes down to this. 30 heats of action over two legs to decide the 2016 Premier League champions. And what a battling run it's been for the Sheffield Window Centre Tigers. A truly remarkable performance up at Ashfield that saw them defend their eight-point lead from the first leg over Glasgow. And whilst underdogs once more in this grand final, you can be sure that they'll be giving it everything they've got as they aim to take the Premier League crown for the first time in 14 years. For the visitors, the Somerset Rebels, well, there's no doubt about their pedigree. Regular competitors in the end-of-season playoffs, winners in 2013, runners-up in 2012 and 2014, and they'll be looking to round out a fine season for them, in which they top the regular Premier League table. So a very special night here at Owlerton. A bumper crowd in attendance, and with the riders on parade, let's take a look at the two team lineups. Going for the Sheffield Window Centre Tigers at number one, it's guest Ricky Wells. Coming in at number two, it's Stuart Robson. Josh Bates rides at three with rider replacement at number four. Skipper Carl Howarth rides at five. The two reserves, Arthur Ceases at six and Nathan Greaves at number seven. For the Somerset Rebels, they're led at number one by Rowan Tungate. Jake Allen rides at number two. It's Charles Wright at three with Paul Stark at number four. Skipper Josh Krajonic rides at five. Their two reserves, Robert Branford guests at six and James Shanes guests at number seven. So looking forward to a great meeting here at Owlerton. It's the first leg of the 2016 Premier League Grand Final. Without any further delay, let's get on with the action and heat number one. Here we go then, heat number one here at Owlerton. 30 heats of action to decide the league champions for 2016. Looking forward to some fabulous racing both here tonight and at the Oak Tree Arena tomorrow evening. With the four riders coming onto track for the opening race tonight. The two uh, riders at the gate already Somerset's Jake Allen and Sheffield guest tonight, Ricky Wells. We've got two riders still uh, going through some mechanical adjustments. Rohan Tungate for the Somerset Rebels and uh, last minute panic for other guests of the Sheffield Window Centre Tigers, Stuart Robson, the experienced Stuart Robson, who's uh, riding in the number two berth tonight. So as Robson comes towards the gate, Let's take you through the full lineup from the inside. Going in the blue helmet colour, gate number one, it is Stuart Robson. Jake Allen, he goes in yellow and black, gate two. Ricky Wells, red, gate three. And off the outside, in white, Rohan Tungate. Referee this evening, Jim McGregor, who's made the journey down from Cumbria. And uh, he's pressed into action straight away with Jake Allen asking for the green light to be shone. Important, you feel, for the Sheffield Window Centre Tigers that they get off to a strong start here this evening. Here we go then, the first race of 30. Three lights on from Jim McGregor, up by the takes away they go, swift start from the inside from Stuart Robson. Tungate's made a good one from the outside as well, and Tungate for the Somerset Rebels powers his way to the front, although Robson trying to block his run. It's the Australian Tungate that shows. Robson in second, Ricky Wells in third with Jake Allen at the back. There's a fast start from the inside for Stuart Robson. A good stuff from Rohan Tungate, who powered his way from the outside of him. And the Rebels number one leading the way here. Robson still in second, Wells in third, under a slight bit of pressure here from Jake Allen. Wells checks back to see where Jake Allen is and a race developing for the crucial third place point. Down the back straight for the third time. Tungate looking good out front. Robson comfortably in a second, but Wells under all sorts of pressure here as Allen's trying to make something work on the outside with a lap to go. Down the back straight they go. I don't think Jake Allen's going to get to Ricky Wells, barring a disaster for the American on the final bend. But no problems out front for this man. Rohan Tungate, he wins, he won. Tungate wins it. Robson home for second, Wells for third. And we begin with a shared race here in the first one tonight. Fast start for Stuart Robson. But no problems for Rohan Tungate, who powered his way around the outside of them to take an impressive win there in heat number one. 
So Tungate the winner, second man home was Stuart Robson, third spot went to Ricky Wells, a shared race in heat one. So a shared race to begin proceedings here tonight. We're on to heat number two, the reserves race. And I'm sure Sheffield will be looking to their two reserves tonight to put in good performances. Somerset rocked with injury down at the lower end of their side with uh, both Bradley Wilson-Dean and Zach Weichnecht on the uh, sidelines. So two guests in for them tonight, Robert Bramford and James Shanes. So it is Robert Bramford lining up in the white helmet colour, gate number one. Next to him in red for the Sheffield Window Centre Tigers, Arthur Ceases. In uh, gate three coming in tonight for the Rebels, James Shanes. And off the outside in blue for the Sheffield Window Centre Tigers. Tigers, it is Nathan Greaves. We saw last week the reserves scored a 5-1 maximum in heat number two. Looking for the same here tonight. So the four riders just settling down ahead of heat number two. Starley Marshall walks away then. On comes the green line. Oh, away they go, good start from the inside from Robert Bradford. Cruz has made a reasonable one from the outside and Nathan Grease trying to come to the outside but locks it there and crucially for Somerset, James Shanes slots into third ahead of Arthur Ceases. So it's Bramford out front from Greaves, Shanes uh, slotted through on the inside and Ceases looking for this one here. Got two races here with uh, Grease trying to hunt down Robert Bramford at the front. Ceases not close enough at this stage to uh, get past James Shanes, but we'll focus on the battle out front as Grease is really charging hard here on Robert Bramford. Ceases still determined to try to find a way past Shanes, but they, the young man for the Rebels are riding well in third. And the first heat advantage of the night looks to be going the way of the visitors. So they come through with one to go. Bramford riding a control race, but Grease hasn't finished. Looking for a ride through here on the inside. What can he do on the final lap? Grease very, very determined. It's not going to get there. It's a good final lap from Rob Bramford. He wins it. Grease home for second, and crucially, James Shanes comes home for third ahead of Arthur Ceases. And uh, Sheffield, well, they'll be disappointed with that, I think. But good stuff from the uh, Rebels two guests tonight, Rob Bramford and James Shanes. Bramford made it count on the first and second bend as uh, Greaves was out of shape. And, well, Somerset, they take a 4-2 in the reserves race. The win goes to Rob Bramford, second man home Nathan Greaves, third spot James Shanes, 4-2, progressively after two races, five to the Sheffield Window Centre Tigers and seven to the Somerset Rebels. On we go to heat number three, rider replacement being taken by Stuart Robson here. So Robson out for his second rider of the evening. So the lineup sees Stuart Robson coming in in blue off gate number one. Gate two in white, it is Charles Wright. Josh Bates, he goes in red off gate number three and off the outside in yellow and black, Paul Stark. So Somerset with the early advantage. Sheffield looking to respond here. But uh, Charles Wright, we saw in the League Cup semi-final, went uh, very, very well indeed here at Allerton, making up for crashing out in the league fixture. As they settle down then for heat number three. Fly where they go. Good start from Robson on the inside. Tied between the two Somerset men into the first corner. Bates looking to come through on the inside of them. Start committed to the outside as Bates slots through into third. It's Robson out front. Second spot for Charles Wright with Josh Bates right up his tail here. So they come through to complete one lap. Making a count from the inside was Stuart Robson under all sorts of pressure. Josh Bates from uh, Paul Stark. Stark uh, wasn't quite able to make it from the wide outside gate. But he's really charging hard here on Josh Bates. Bates trying to defend and attack at the same time here. Trying to find a way past Charles Wright as Stuart Robson's making hay out front. 
Sheffield striking back with a heat advantage of their own here in heat number three, but can they make it a maximum? A lap remaining. Robson a mile clear. Bates thinking wide now. With a lap to go of heat three. What can Josh Bates do on the final lap here? He's trying to hunt down Charles Wright. He looks to have more pace than him. They tear into the pits corner for the fourth and final time. One final challenge current from Josh Bates. Not going to get there. The win goes to Stuart Robson. Last lap per... Uh, Heartache for Paul Stark, who slid off, but he's OK, making his way back to the pits. An acknowledgement between Josh Bates and Charles Wright. Good battle between those. It was all about the fast start for Stuart Robson, making it count from gate number one, and he didn't look back from there. Stuart's coming round on a lap of honour. Good to see him going well for the Tigers so far tonight. Stuart Robson wins it. Second man home, Charles Wright. Third spot goes to Josh Bates, a 4-2 to the home side. Progressively, after three heats, it's nine points apiece. Three races gone in full square. Nine points each, 60.1 seconds again. Stuart's All square then after three heats here at Owlerton. Heat number four at the gate. The lineup for which sees going in the blue helmet colour gate number one, Nathan Greaves. Next to him in yellow and black, impressive in his first outing, James Shanes. In gate number three in red, Kyle Howarth. And in white off the outside, it is Josh Grozonek. Great to see such a large crowd in here at Owlerton this evening. Fans have certainly turned out for this grand final. And to the home fans, hoping that the Tigers can take um, a lead down to the Oak Tree Arena. Going to be very, very difficult tomorrow evening. Somerset very sharp on their home circuit. But as uh, Sheffield have proved in the quarterfinal against Newcastle and the semi-final against Glasgow, anything is possible. So they come to order then for heat number... Heat number four. Pace fire where they go. Very tight going into the first corner. And James Shanks has made a superstar, but it's too good for uh, Jim McGregor. The red lights are on. Thought for the moment the uh, riders hadn't seen the lights, but uh, Jim McGregor unhappy with that. We'll await his decision. Didn't look to be too much wrong with it. The two-minute warning is straight back on. Mechanics coming out just to uh, attend to the four riders. The All four is the call. So we'll have to go again for heat four. So with Nathan Greaves arriving back at the gate, we'll take you through the lineup. Nathan Greaves lines up in blue, gate number one. Gate two in yellow and black, it is um, James Shanes. Kyle Howarth, he goes in red off gate number three. And Josh Krajonek completes the lineup. He goes in the white helmet colour, gate number four. As you might expect in a grand final tension high here nerves amongst both riders management and spectators here we go then for the rerun of heat four pace fire where they go james once again has made a good start as has sir josh kajani from the outside james riding right down low on the inside of kyle howard and it's somerset one and two james james giving uh, kyle howard the rough end of things going into the uh, top corner Howard very committed to the wide outside and Howard pounds his way into second. And what a vital first lap that was from James Shanes. Out front and looking good is Josh Kajonic. Howard trying to hunt him down. Shanes has got the uh, measure of Nathan Greaves. And Somerset once more on their way to a heat advantage. Two laps gone. So Josh Kajonic looking good out front from Carl Howard. Shanes has got plenty of pace. Disappointingly for Sheffield, Nathan Greaves is being left somewhat. You can see how far behind he is. So come through, we want to go. Joining himself out front with Josh Kajonek. Half being kept honest by James Shanes. And one mistake from uh, Howarth on the final bend. Shanes will get to him. And then, oh my goodness, Howarth has got a bite problem. And that's gifted the first five one of the nights of the Somerset Rebels. Oh, heartache for Kyle Howarth. My goodness me. We were saying barring disaster, talk about commentator's curse because Kyle Howarth had second spot in the back and then the bike expired on the final lap. Well, 
Heartache for Kyle Howarth. Heartache for the Sheffield Window Centre Tigers there in heat four. The win goes to uh, Josh Grzonek. James Shanes comes home for second. Nathan Greaves picks up a point in third. A 5-1 to the visitors. That could be oh so important. After four races here at Owlerton, it's 10 to the Sheffield Window Centre Tigers and 14 to the Somerset Rebels. Heat number five, we've had a track grade ahead of this one, which has allowed extra time for Kyle Howarth, who's uh, back out in this heat number five as a right replacement. And a uh, concern for Kyle is that he's heading back towards pit snow. He's just uh, gone to get a uh, bit of fresh air, although uh, his mechanic is coming out from the pits gate now. But uh, Kyle's now changed his mind and uh, heading back towards the starting line. So with the four riders at the gate, we'll take you through the lineup. Going in the yellow and black helmet colour, gate number one, it is Jake Allen. Gate two in red, it is Josh Bates. In gate three in white, an impressive winner in heat one, and Rohan Tungate. And off the outside in the uh, blue helmet colour, it is Kyle Howard. So I'm sure Kyle will be looking to make amends for that Heat 4 disappointment, obviously out on a secondary machine. But uh, Sheffield obviously confident that he can uh, make that work as they come to order for Heat 5. Swift start from Josh Bates on gate number two. Tungate's made a good one. He's got there ahead of Carl Howarth and Tungate swinging wide here. Try to come around the outside of Bates. And he does get around the outside of Bates. That's an impressive ride from Rohan Tungate. Allen trying to storm his way to on the inside of Carl Howarth. And uh, Jake Allen looks very lively in this one as well. Tungate impressive on the first lap. He's heading for home. The two Sheffield boys fighting amongst themselves, trying to uh, keep Jake Allen at the back. So they tear into the top corner. Not much between the Sheffield pairing. And Kyle Howarth almost locks up there to impede uh, Jake Allen, who has to uh, roll off the gas somewhat. They tear down the back straight for the third time. Close uh, action in the Heat 5. Tungate uh, away out front. Bates still trying hard. Howarth is all off. Jake Allen on the back for him. Can Josh Bates do something here on the uh, final bend of heat number five? They tear into it. Tungate's going to make it two out of two. Impressive stuff from here. Bates comes over for a second. Now Bates has got a bye problem. Oh, my goodness me. I think Bates has gone from second to fourth in the space of five yards. And what more can go wrong for the Sheffield Window Centre Tigers tonight? No doubt that uh, Tungate was the winner. I think Howarth came home for second. Uh, Jake Allen, perhaps, has got third. And, well, heartache for Josh Bates this time. And in a grand final, well, you can't have mechanical issues like this. We'll await Jim McGregor's decision on heat number five, but it was a very, very close finish. But I feel sure it's another heat advantage to the Somerset Rebels. Once again, the Premier striking in heat number five for the Tigers and turned the official result of a win for the Ivory White Run to get winning time 61.1. Disappointment for uh, Josh Bates as he walks back to the pits, no doubt about the winner, nor indeed about second spot. And indeed, it's confirmed that uh, Jake Allen did come home for third. Well, two engine problems in heats four and five, and the Somerset Rebels have eked out a six point advantage at this early stage. The win goes to Tungate. Howarth home for second, third spot Jake Allen, 4-2, progressively the score moves on. It's 12 to the Sheffield Window Centre Tigers and 18 to the Somerset Rebels. We're swiftly on to heat number six. The lineup for this one sees Ricky Wells going in the red helmet colour gate number one. Gate two in white, Josh Kajonek in gate three in blue, Stuart Robson. And off the outside in yellow and black, it is uh, Robert Bramford. So two uh, first race winners for Somerset here. So right 
crowd has taken their time to come to order for heat number heat number six. Can Sheffield bounce back in this one? Takes fire where they go. Swift start from the inside by uh, Ricky Wells. Kajonis made a good one. Bramford's impressive from uh, the outside. Robson, no slots into third. We're here for Josh Kajonik down the inside of Ricky Wells. And Somerset once more hit the front. It's Josh Kajonik looking good here. Ricky Wells, he's in second. Joe Robson, he's got ahead of Robert Bramford. But uh, Somerset looked very, very swift indeed here this evening. And Josh Kajonik looks fired up once more in this one. Josh Kajonic from Ricky Wells. Pretty well spread. That's Stuart Robson comfortably ahead of Robert Bramford. But in the same way that Rohan Tungate has posted two race victories, Josh Kajonic looks to be on his way here. In Somerset, they'll be maintaining their six point advantage. One to go. Looking good for Josh Kajonic, the style of the Australian. Very, very impressive here at Allerton so far this season. Continuing that good form. So they tear off the pits corner. Josh Kajonic wins heat number six. Ricky Wells comes home for second, and Stuart Robson comes home for third. It's all about uh, the first lap, and uh, once uh, Josh Kajonic had got his wheels in line, he powered his way to victory there. So good stuff from Josh Kajonic. Somerset, they'll be delighted with the uh, performance of their two Australians so far. Kajonic and Tungate, both race winners in both of their outings. The win going to Josh Kajonic in heat six, Ricky Wells for second. Third spot goes to uh, Stuart Robson, a shared race progressively after six heats here at Owlerton. 15 to the Sheffield Window Centre Tigers and 21 to the Somerset Rebels. Rod is at the line for heat number seven. Somerset in control of this meeting so far. The line at four, heat seven, sees going in the white helmet colour gate number one, it is Charles Wright. In gate number two, in the red helmet colour, it is Kyle Howarth. In gate three, in yellow and black, it is Paul Stark. And off the outside, in the uh, blue helmet colour, Arthur Ceases. Just waiting, uh, Ceases on the outside there. He just lines up in gate four. As the starting marshal walks away, then on heat seven. Takes fly where they go. Pass off from Kyle Howarth. He gets to the first corner. Although trying to come through on the inside, Charles Wright. But Howarth powers his way to the front. It's Somerset, though, packing. Second and third with Ceases disappointingly once more out of the back. Paul Stark powers his way around the outside of his team partner. Stark has got pace here. He's trying to chase down Carl Howard. So it's Howard from start. First spot, Charles Wright. Ceases out the back. Paul Stark looks very, very fired up here for the Somerset Rebels. What can he do with two laps remaining? Oh, peaks in number seven. Howard having to work overtime to keep Stark at the back. Wright has got third spot comfortable, comfortably enough as they tear into the pits corner then. What can Paul Stark do on the final lap of Heat 7? Carl Howard trying to power his way to his first victory. Stark's horribly out of shape there. Almost runs up the back of uh, Carl Howard. I think that's his challenge over. That's the final bend then. Carl Howard, I think, will just about hang on for a good race victory. And all credit to Ceases, who's got up on the line to pass a Charles Wright. Well, Arthur Sissis has come from a mile behind there and grab what looks to be a crucial 4-2 heat advantage to the Sheffield Window Centre Tigers. Sissis thinks he's got it. A thumbs up to uh, Carl Howard there to say that he's got third spot. Once again, a close finish for um, referee Jim McGregor to make the call on. No doubt that it was Carl Howard the winner and Paul Stark for second, but we'll just await third spot as they cross the line very closely indeed.
So Carl Howarth confirmed as the winner, no doubt about that. Second man home, Paul Stark. And Arthur Sissis did indeed get up for third spot, and that could be crucial. So a heat advantage of 4-2 to the Sheffield Window Centre Tigers. Progressively after seven heats, 19 to the Tigers and 23 to the Somerset Rebels. Time counting down for Heat H. Stuart Robson, the last man to arrive at the gate for this one. The lineup then sees going in the yellow and black helmet colour. Gate number one, it is James Shanes. Gate two, blue for Sheffield, Nathan Greaves. It is Jake Allen. He's had a tough night so far. He's in the white helmet colour. Gate number three, and Stuart Robson completes the lineup. He's in red off the outside. So Stuart Robson is doing a fine job so far this evening, guesting for the Sheffield Window Centre Tigers. But they're still down by four points. They need uh, some more heat advantages. It was vital in that heat seven, but Cece's got up to defeat Charles Wright. As they settle down and four heat number eight. Takes fire where they go. Fast up from James Shane's off game number one. Robson's made a reasonable one from the outside, and it's in fact too good again. The red lights are on from um, Ronnie, uh, from Jim McGregor. And was that James Shane's the guilty man once more? We'll have another look at that. And uh, well, Jim McGregor spotted something. And as you can hear, James Shanes has been deemed the guilty man. And as it's his second offence, he is ruled out of the rerun of heat number eight. James Shane seems uh, quite surprised by that. He's off his machine and heading back to the pit. And he expresses his displeasure in the uh, way of Jim McGregor. So uh, we'll see if uh, James Shane is summoned to the phone. As the two minute warning straight back on for heat number eight. So Robert Bramford coming out as a reserve replacement for James Shanes. So the amended lineup for heat number eight sees Rob Bramford gate one, Nathan Greaves in gate two, gate number three it is Jake Allen and off the outside in red Stuart Robson. see what it uh, what disappointment it meant to uh, James Shanes I'm sure he'll have been uh, told by Jim McGregor if not now later on during the meeting that he's got to remain stationary otherwise uh, what uh, what choice does Jim McGregor have so just taking their time here to settle down ahead of heat number eight the rerun takes fly where they go start from uh, gate number three from Jake Allen he gets to the first corner trying to take Stuart Robson wide looks to have succeeded although Robson powers his way around the outside he's committed to the outside but it's Jake Allen that shows so it's Allen for Robson third spot is uh, Rob Bramford and uh, Nathan Reeves finds himself on the back good action between Jake Allen and Stuart Robson in the uh, early stages of this heat eight and Robson's trying to hunt down the young Australian now so it's Allen with a couple of bike lengths advantage. Robson very, very quick into the top corner. Almost runs at the back of uh, Jake Allen. One that's safe from Allen and Robson will be through, crucially, for Somerset. The third spot still with uh, Robert Bramford. Disappointment for Nathan Greaves. Jake Allen getting his night back on track here. Looking good in heat eight. What can sure Robson do in the final lap? Tearing down the back straight for the fourth and final time. Allen under all sorts of pressure here as Stuart Robson's not finished. Trying to cut down low on the inside as they run to the flag. Robson through on the inside, but Jake Allen just hangs on. I think Jake Allen just about got that. He thinks he did. All credit to Stuart Robson. He really tried hard there over the uh, final stages of heat number eight. But I think the Somerset Rebels have taken another heat advantage in heat number eight.
Stuart Robson's coming around on a lap of honour, but I fear that it was all in vain there. So we're just awaiting the word from referee Jim McGregor. Confirmed, Stuart Robson did get up on the run to the line. Great stuff from Robbo. He wins heat number eight. Second man home, Jake Allen. Third spot went to Robert Bramford. So it results in a shared race, three apiece, and at the halfway stage, the score moves on. 22 to the Sheffield Window Centre Tigers and 26 to the Somerset Rebels. Riders at the gate then for heat number nine. So far unbeaten tonight, Josh Grzonek, he lines up in gate number one. Gate two in blue, Ricky Wells coming in as the rider replacement. Coming out as a reserve switch, James Shanes, he goes in the yellow and black helmet colour, gate number three, and Josh Bates completes the lineup. He's in red off the outside. In some fine action so far tonight, as you would expect in a grand final. No quarter being asked or given. Riders really going hard. Sheffield, they'll be ruining those two engine problems that they suffered early on. But still time for them to bounce back and take a lead down to the oak tree tomorrow. So can anybody stop Josh Krajonek here in heat nine? He's looked superb so far this evening. Uh, as they come to order for Heat 9. Takes fly away they go. Good start from Josh Kajanik on the inside. Josh Bates has made a reasonable one as well. Bates trying to blast his way around the outside of Josh Kajanik and he looks to have done so. So uh, Kajanik tracks on the inside of Josh Bates. Very tight between these two and it's Bates for Sheffield Man. No. Bates under all sorts of pressure here as Josh Kajanik trying to chase him down. Ricky Wells has comfortably got to third spot as Kajanik takes it up from Josh Bates and they're locked together. Fine action here in Heat 9. Bates looking to his barn, he's searching his way back down on the inside of Josh Kajanik. Nothing to choose between them. Ricky Wells still in third, comfortably clear of James Shanes. But Kajanik and Bates have raced out a final battle here as they come through with one to go. And it looks as if the Somerset man will remain unbeaten. Tearing down the back straight then. Josh Rajon is going to make it three out of three. He's having a fabulous evening here at Sheffield as they come off the final bend. One final challenge from Josh Bates, but he's not going to get there. Ricky Wells comes home for third. Some fine action there in heat number nine. And a handshake between Josh Bates and Josh Kajanek. Some good action there, and the Somerset man one out. And Josh Kajanek maintains his superb evening here at Sheffield. But with uh, Ricky Wells packing the places in third spot, it results once more in a shared race. But the Somerset lead is maintained at um, four points. The win goes then to Josh Kajanek. Josh Bates home for second. Third spot, Ricky Wells. Three apiece, progressively after nine races. The score moves on. 25 to the Sheffield Window Centre Tigers. 29 to the Somerset Rebels. Extra time having been allowed then for Ricky Wells. He's back out here for his scheduled ride. Riders at the gate will take you through the lineup. Paul Stark goes in yellow and black. Gate number one, gate two in blue, Stuart Robson. Gate three in white, it is uh, Charles Wright. And off the outside in red, it's uh, Ricky Wells. So Stuart Robson's had a, a final night here at Allerton. Certainly doing a uh, sterling job, keeping the Sheffield Window Centre Tigers in touch. Can they take a maximum out of this heat 10 to level the scores? As they come to order then, for heat 10. Pace fire where they go, swift start from Ricky Wells off gate four. Very tight going into the first corner. Close between uh, Robson and uh, Wright, and it's the two Somerset men that show Paul Stark has made it count. Charles Wright committed to the outside, being forced very, very wide here by Stuart Robson.
Rawson and we've got some good action once again here in heat 10. Rawson dive bombs down on the inside of Charles Wright. He's trying to go after Paul Stark. Wright though hasn't finished. He's set back around the outside of uh, Sure Robson. What thrilling action here in heat 10. Robson trying to force Wright wide but uh, Wright commits it to the wide outside there. Paul Stark out front, Charles Wright has got second spot but Stuart Robson working overtime trying to get two in, Ricky Wells disappointingly has missed out, here comes Robson at a million miles an hour down on the inside of Charles Wright, takes Wright by surprise, Wright looking to respond, fabulous action here in heat number 10, Robson and Wright going all at it as they tear down the back straight for the final time, Paul Stark will have the victory, Stuart Robson will continue his fight now with a hard charge in second spot and Charles Wright will come home for third, great racing there, in heat number Number 10, fabulous stuff. It results in a heat advantage to the visitors. Paul Stark missed all of that fun. Robson and Wright had a fabulous race there in heat 10. And we knew the racing would be fast and furious here at Owlerton tonight in the uh, grand final, and so it is proving. Paul Stark, fabulous stuff from him. Very tight on the first corner, but he came clear. And with his team partner, Charles Wright, home for third. It's a heat advantage, a 4-2 to the Rebels in heat 10. The win goes to uh, Paul Stark. Second man home was Stuart Robson. Third spot went to um, Charles Wright. 4-2 to the Rebels, progressively after 10 races. 27 to the Sheffield Window Centre Tigers and 33 to the Somerset Rebels. Points to the Rebels, 33. 62 seconds exactly again was Paul's winning time for we're swiftly on to heat number heat number 11. The undefeated so far, Rohan Tungay, like Josh Kajanek, looking to make it three out of three. Full lineup sees going in the red helmet colour, gate one, Kyle Howarth. Rohan Tungay goes in white, gate number two, gate three in blue. Paddled hard last time out, Arthur Cesis and off the outside in yellow and black, Jake Allen. So Rebels still up by six. They'll be delighted with their performance so far this evening. Going to be very, very difficult for uh, Sheffield down in a deepest Somerset tomorrow. I'm sure they'll give it their all, but uh, they would have been looking for an advantage at this stage, down by six points. So they've got to work hard over these remaining five heats. As they come to order then for heat number eight. Takes fly on heat 11, away they go. Passed off on the inside by Carl Howard. It's got to the first corner ahead of Rowan Tungate. Jake Allen, though, for Somerset, slots into third. But here comes Arthur Sissis back through on his inside. And that's a good ride from Arthur Sissis there. It's Howard out front. Tungate looking around to see where his team partner is. Jake Allen's on the back, so Tungate will have to hunt down Carl Howard. Sheffield hitting back with a 4 2 of their own here in heat 11. Howard making it count from the inside. Tungate. Trying to look for a way past him. CC slots up there as he uh, came off the corner. The battle out front between uh, Carl Howarth and Rohan Tungay. And Tungay looks to have real pace here. Carl Howarth will have to look lively for the remainder of this race. Chops off the nose there of Rohan Tungay, who now looks for a way around the outside. Now changes his mind once more to come down on the inside. It's a good race out front from uh, Carl Howarth. Tungay really trying hard, but I don't think he's going to get to Carl Howarth. That's an important victory there for the Sheffield man. Half wins it, Tungate home for second, ceases crucially for third. And Sheffield, they're not giving up, that's great to see. 4-2 there, and an acknowledgement between Carl Howarth and uh, Arthur Ceases. And Carl Howarth, he'll be delighted having made it count, and uh, the first man to defeat Rohan Tungate there. Are they going to come round on a lap of honour in front of this big crowd? Well, Carl Howarth is. And you can see how pleased Carl is with that there. So Howarth wins heat number 11. Rohan Tungate, his first defeat of the evening. He comes home for second. Third spot goes to Arthur Ceases. It's a 4-2 to the Sheffield Window Centre Tigers. And after 11 heats, it's 31 to the Sheffield Window Centre Tigers. 35 to the Somerset Rebels. Eleven races gone, four to go.
extra time having been allowed here in heat number 12 for Arthur Ceases. He's out here to replace Nathan Greaves. So the full lineup from the inside sees going in red. Gate one, Josh Bates. Robert Bramford goes in yellow and black. Gate number two, Arthur Ceases. He goes in the blue helmet killer gate three and off the outside in white, Charles Wright. So will this reserve switch pay dividends for the uh, Sheffield Window Centre Tigers? After a poor first outing, Arthur Cecis has uh, looked much more on the pace. Vital that Sheffield can get something out of this Heat 12, you feel, as the riders settle down. Charlie Marshall just encouraging uh, Robert Bramford up towards the tape. He walks away. Green lights on, takes fire. Where they go? Cross base with a fifth start from the inside. Here comes Charles Wright trying to power his way to the front and the uh, Somerset man does indeed take the lead. So it's right up front from Josh Bates. Crucially, Arthur Ceases in third. Robert Bramford on the wide attack here. Although Ceases comes through. Out front and looking fast and assured is Charles Wright. Josh Bates just uh, couldn't block his run on the early stages of this heat 12. Josh Bates is now going to try to chase him down. So Charles Wright with a couple of bite lift advantages here. Josh Bates really charging hard. Wright knows he's close. Charles Wright riding the dirt. Josh Bates doesn't seem to have the pace to hunt him down. And the Somerset Rebels man, Charles Wright, looking good here in heat 12. Bates is second, Ceases comes from being third. It looks as if the Rebels will be maintaining their lead at the interval stage. What can Josh Bates do on the final corner? He's trying hard, you can see how hard he's uh, thrusting here. He's lost his steel shoe. Charles Wright brings home the victory. A for effort from Josh Bates. Arthur Ceases home for third. And once Charles Wright powered his way to the front, that was good stuff from the Rebels man there. And uh, Somerset, well, uh, uh, turning out a thoroughly professional performance tonight. And at the interval stage, their four-point lead will be maintained. The win goes to Charles Wright then. Second man home was Josh Bates. Third spot, Arthur Ceases. Three apiece. And at the interval stage here at Owlerton, it's 34 to the Sheffield Window Centre Tigers and 38 to the Somerset Rebels. On to the big race, heat number 13. The lineup sees going in the white hammer colour, gate number one for Somerset. It is Rohan Tungate. Gate number two, Ricky Wells. Gate three, Josh Krajonek. And off the outside, Kyle Howarth. It's been a fabulous night so far for Somerset's two representatives here. Tungate, just the one defeat. Krajonek looked immense. Ricky Wells has had a tough night, guesting for Sheffield once more. Carl Howarth has ridden, uh, ridden well, apart from that engine problem in his first outing. But with Somerset having the advantageous inside grids here, you suspect they'll be looking to a banging a heat advantage, if at all possible. So taking their time to come to order here in heat number 13. Sheffield knew it would be a tough night, so it's proven. There's still time for them to take a lead. They need some big scores here though. Here we go, heat 13. Next fight where they go. Good start from the man on the outside, Carl Howard, very, very determined. Rotungate trying to take him wide. And it's Rohan Tungate for the Somerset Rebels that shows. It's Howarth in uh, second, Ricky Wells in third, and missing out for the first time tonight, Josh Krajonek. So it's a shared race situation. And I'm sure the Somerset man, Josh Krajonek, will try to hunt down Ricky Wells. He goes very fast indeed into that first corner, almost comes down. He's got the pace to recover and come back after Ricky Wells. Out front and uh, looking superb, Rohan Tungate. Howarth so in second, but Ricky Wells under all sorts of pressure here. As uh, Josh Krajonek desperately tries to find a way through. A lap and a half remaining of heat 13. Looks to be a 
share race situation unless Josh Kajonics can do something superb on the final lap. He's trying, trying to build up his speed and momentum. Puts down low on the inside of Ricky Wells. Wells locks up there and here comes Kajonic through. Bad mistake for the American. Ricky Wells, one final challenge. Can he recover that? He can't. And Somerset do take a heat advantage out of heat 13. Tungate untroubled out front. Howarth home for second, but all credit to Josh Kajonic, who didn't give up. Then we had the pace, and he uh, forced a mistake out of Ricky Wells. And a heat advantage results for the Somerset Rebels there in heat 13. Good stuff from Rohan Tungate, who maintains his superb night. Second man home was uh, Kyle Howarth. Third spot, Josh Grzonek. A 4-2 to the Somerset Rebels. And with two heats remaining, the score moves on. 36 to the Sheffield Window Centre Tigers. 42 to the Somerset Rebels. Winning time was 61.2 seconds. 6-1-2. Second in blue was Kyle Howarth. Heat number 14 at the gate, now or never, for the Sheffield Window Centre Tigers if they want to take a lead down to the Oak Tree Arena tomorrow. The lineup for Heat 14 sees going in the blue helmet colour, Arthur Cecis, Paul Stark, he was impressive last time out, he's in the white helmet colour, gate two, gate three in red, Josh Bates, and off the outside in the um, yellow and black helmet colour, it is some um, James Shane's. So Shanes will have to uh, remain stationary as the green light comes on this time. So they settle down then for Heat 14. Pace fire, away they go. Fast start from Arthur Cecis. Cecis making it count from the inside. Paul Stark starts into second. Josh Bates in third. He's taking care of James Shanes on the uh, first lap now. Here comes Josh Bates trying to bore a hole down on the inside of Paul Stark. Stark looks across to see where Josh Bates is. Out front and looking good is Arthur Cecis. Paul Stark powers his way into uh, second once more. Stark not afraid to ride the dirt line here at Owlerton. And if anything, he's going to go after Arthur Cecis. Cecis with a 10 metre advantage over Paul Stark. Third is still a Josh Bates, comfortably clear of uh, James Shanes. Bates trying to uh, work out the best way of attack here on uh, Paul Stark. I think Cecis has got the uh, win wrapped up. So tear down the back straight for the fourth and final time. Cecis is going to round off his night with an impressive win here. Paul Stark will, I think, hang on to second. One final challenge from Josh Bates, but it's not going to be enough. But the uh, Sheffield Window Centre Tigers do take a heat advantage. It could be uh, oh so important. Good stuff from Arthur Cecis, and that's just a reward for his efforts here this evening. He celebrates with a wheelie. And uh, we do go to a last heat decider here at Owlerton tonight. Tractors are coming out for one final grade ahead of the final race. Impressive win there for Arthur Cecis in heat number 14. Second man home was Paul Stark. Third spot went to Josh Bates. 4-2. And with one race remaining here at Owlerton, the score moves on 40 to the Sheffield Window Centre Tigers, 44 to the Somerset Rebels. Paul Stark and 30 red of Josh Bates. Four points to the Tigers, two points to the Rebels. Final action of the evening here at Owlerton and indeed of the season. We have a last heat decider here in the first leg of the 2016 Premier League final. Tigers needing a 5-1 to force a draw to take it all level down to the Oak Tree Arena. Somerset, they've uh, turned up tonight and done a thoroughly professional job. They'll be delighted with their performance and they are certain favourites now to lift the title in 2016. But stranger things have happened. We've just got four laps of action to conclude matters here at Owlerton tonight with the full lineup seeing. Going in the white helmet colour, gate number one, it is Josh Krajonek. In gate two, in red, it is Stuart Robson. In yellow and black, gate three, Rohan Tungate. And off the outside, in blue, Kyle Howarth. So four laps of action to decide the outcome here this evening. Somerset, they'll be looking for maximum points here, I'm sure, just to uh, take off some of the pressure ahead of the second leg tomorrow evening. A 
what can the Sheffield Window Centre Tigers do? Here we go, Heat 15. Takes fly away they go. Fast start from uh, gate four from Carl Howarth. And that's determination from the Sheffield man there. Robson slots into uh, second. And here comes Robson locked together down the back straight with uh, Josh Grzonek. Robson trying to force a hole on the inside of the Somerset man. But Grzonek being challenged here hard on the inside by Stuart Robson. Nothing between them. Thrilling action in the final race. Howarth has made it count out front. Robson's now got Tungate on his tail. Grzonek in second. And if it stays this way, Somerset will leave Allerton tonight with a... Advancing ahead of tomorrow night's second leg. Stuart Robson trying to uh, repel Rohan Tungay. Grishonic's uh, shaken off the attention of the uh, Sheffield guests. The battle raging for third. It's been a good night tonight for Stuart Robson. Hearth out front with a lap to go. What can Rohan Tungay do here on the final lap of the 15? It's not over out front between uh, Grishonic and Howarth. I think the Sheffield man will just about hang on. The final corner, Carl Howarth will win it. Grishonic home for second. Robson comes home for third. But that's enough for the Somerset Rebels to take a lead down to their Oak Tree Arena home tomorrow night. The second spot for Josh Grishonic. But uh, all credit to Stuart Robson, who's done a sterling job tonight for the Sheffield Window Centre Tigers. I'm sure Sheffield will be disappointed that they won't be taking a lead. They're down by two, so all to do tomorrow evening at the Oak Tree Arena. Lap of honour for Carl Howarth. Good stuff from Carl. He's had a fine old night. Howarth wins Heat 15. Second man home was Josh Grzonek. Third spot, Stuart Robson. A 4-2 to the Sheffield Window Centre Tigers in the final race of the night and indeed of the season. And the final score, therefore, 44 to the Sheffield Window Centre Tigers, 46 to the Somerset Rebels. OK, speaking to Gary, mate. Gary, your thoughts on tonight's match and the way the boys rode? Well, we come here with a game plan just to win it, win the meeting, and we've done that, and we've kept it tight for tomorrow as well. So, you know, I'm quite happy what we've done tonight. Yeah, boys really set about their task tonight. Um, all chipped in really well, so uh, a great all-round team performance. Yeah, yeah. We we just said if we're in scoring positions, we'll stay there, and if we can go on and win the match, we will. And and just everything worked perfect. Yeah. So uh, tomorrow night's match, how are you looking forward towards that? Oh, very good. You know, I'm looking really forward to it, but it's not over yet. There's another uh, 15 heats to go. Anything can happen in Speedway, but obviously we'll go there to win tomorrow, and that's the plan, so that's it. So many, many congratulations go to the Somerset Rebels. They're victorious by 46 points to 44 here at Owlerton. Let's quickly run through the individual point scorers. For the Sheffield Window Centre Tigers, Ricky Wells scored 4 plus 2. Stuart Robson scored 12 plus 1. Josh Bates scored a battling 6. Kyle Howarth, top scorer with 13 points. Arthur Cecis, he scored 6 and 1. And Nathan Greaves scored 3. For the Somerset Rebels, Rohan Tungate scored 11, Jake Allen scored 3, Charles Wright scored 6, Paul Stark scoring 7, Josh Grzonek, their top scorer with 12, two reserves, Robert Bramford scored 4 and 1, and James Shane scored 3 plus 1. So 44 to the Sheffield Window Centre Tigers, 46 to the Somerset Rebels. We hope you've enjoyed tonight's action from Owlerton here on Clean Cut Sports. Hope you can join us again next time. From all of us here then, it's a very good night.